You know, you can tour pretty much anything historic in St. Augustine from the colonial era through uh, to the civil rights movement. But there's a new idea brewing, a trolley tour with its eyes up above. On your side, Jessica Clark got an exclusive look at the plan to put sacred sites on full display. <laughs> this is a birthday party for Brenda. Brenda Bichelle of St. Augustine wanted to celebrate her birthday differently. It's just been in my heart. She did not want gifts. She wanted to give to her friends and created a tour of... Of the holy places and sacred spaces in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, as we head north and... I'm always thinking, why isn't, why isn't that done? I don't know, why not me? I'll put it together. And she did for her birthday. Her tour started out as a small gathering of friends. It turned into a day-long trolley tour for friends with local experts. We'll focus on a little bit of history and also some personal stories. And the story goes, that three sisters. We went all over St. Augustine. We made stops to get a behind the scenes tour of the cathedral, a look inside the mother house, which is a convent. We saw the Catholic archives, which date to the 1500s. It's the story of our life. We saw an archeological dig of an old stone church. We saw where the sisters of St. Joseph lived and worked. Look at those beds. We went into narrow, rarely walked upon staircases. It's so well preserved. And into wide open spaces. Oh, it's just beautiful. Every one of the spots has a connection to St. Augustine's rich faith-filled past. So why was I invited to the private party? My grandfather was a structural engineer and he helped um, build this cross. I got to share my connection to a piece of religious history, the Great Cross. May our pilgrimage today be encompassed by the faith. These birthday party attendees essentially became pilgrims on a religious journey, uncovering the city's spiritual gems on a kind of modern day trolley tour that's never been done before, at least in St. Augustine. And there may be a demand for this kind of religious history tour for the masses. It would be great if we could find a way to be able to continue to to bring this kind of momentum of telling the religious story of St. Augustine. So what about that birthday girl? Is a public tour in the future? I don't know what the future is. We're sort of leaving that up to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> in St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.